Hey there, computer programmers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of embedded systems, specifically focusing on embedded application servers. One standout example is the Barracuda application server. It's designed for deeply embedded systems and supports the Lua scripting language. With this setup, you can develop web-based interfaces and manage hardware interactions swiftly and efficiently. In this video, we'll show you how to compile this server on a Linux computer. But don't worry, compiling and integrating this server for your favorite RTOS environment is just as easy. So what's the difference between an embedded web server and an embedded application server? Well, both are designed to be embedded into something larger, like firmware, and both are provided as C code libraries. But there's more to it. Let's find out. What exactly is an embedded application server? In simple terms, it's a software framework that extends the capabilities of a basic embedded web server. But instead of just handling HTTP requests, it lets you run complex business logic and manage real-time decisions right on your device. So what's the key difference between an embedded web server and an embedded application server? Let's break it down. A typical web server, like the one powering your favorite websites, handles static content, think HTML pages, images, and JavaScript files. It's all about transporting requests and responses, and it's pretty straightforward. But here's the catch. Web servers are stateless protocol stacks. They don't remember anything between requests and can't handle dynamic content on their own. This means they need help from other programs or plugins to process data and generate dynamic web responses. Now, for embedded systems, which often need to interact directly with hardware, this becomes a problem. You need a way to connect the web server to your system's code. This usually involves a lot of custom programming to bridge the gap between HTTP requests and your device's operations. Enter the embedded application server. It provides that crucial bridge, offering configurable functionality and frameworks that simplify the development process. Instead of writing tons of low-level code from scratch, you can focus on what really matters, your application's unique features. Application servers come packed with features. They can handle real-time decision-making, invoke other programs or scripts, and create dynamic response pages on the fly. Plus, they often include libraries and tools that make your life as a developer much easier. Imagine you're building an IoT device. With an embedded application server, you can create sophisticated user interfaces, manage device operations in real-time, and easily connect to cloud services. It's all about making your embedded system smarter and more capable. To sum it up, if you're working on an embedded project, consider using an embedded application server. It can save you a ton of development time and help you create more powerful, dynamic applications. I hope you found this video useful and are eager to continue exploring and learning about application servers for embedded systems. If you're interested in an effortless, easy to test embedded application server reference platform, check out XEdge32. The ready to run ESP32 firmware can be installed directly from your browser. Shilla's coding tutorials include an XEdge32 beginner video that takes you through the complete installation process and shows how to create a basic application. To sum it up, if you're working on an embedded project, consider using an embedded application server. It can save you a ton of development time and help you create more powerful, dynamic applications.